Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am so excited to share it with you. And after I got this project completed, I was happy with it. I had shared uh, on my social medias, uh, I had shared, you know, a a uh, little short video just to say, if you ever had a project that you had an idea of and then it didn't turn out and then you were too far into the project to like let it go, so you finish it. That was this project, guys. I struggled with it only because I'm trying to use up some of the things that I have in my craft room and trying to think outside of the box instead of going and just buying new things. So anyway, let me show you how I created this little guy with a bow and uh, this sweet St. Patrick's Day uh, arrangement. For the body of the gnome, I'm using these two bl uh, blocks from the Dollar Tree. Now, I've had these for several years. They were offered in the uh, fall season several years ago from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to use some um, plaster color chalk paint just to give the color and go over it. And the first thing I did is just glue them together with my Fabri-Tac glue and then some hot glue. And I gave this two coats of the plaster color paint. And uh, that is, was, I mean, it was fine, but then I forgot to go back over it with the flesh color paint. And so, you know, I was already way too far into this project. Like something doesn't look right uh, anyway, but I should have painted it like with a flesh color after I, you know, had the chalk paint on it. I put the chalk paint down first just because, you know, I wanted to cover up the wording and honestly, the beard and everything would have covered it up. But me, myself, it just made me feel better. Okay, now on to the second issue. I have uh, these St. Patrick's Day socks in my stash for several years. They came from the Dollar Tree and uh, I was like, oh, well, it's a long sock and I'm going, that's, so that's why I use these blocks because I'm like, oh, well, this, the sock will cover it. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I was just kind of struggling with this and trying to figure out, okay, how can I make this work? And I wanted uh, the hat to have some form. And so I, that's why I have those hair rollers. Uh, I was going to glue those on there and try to make some, uh, like the hat give some form, which it actually does. But once my project was completed, I really didn't even need to use them because it just wasted extra time and extra resources. But anyway, what I did is I pulled the sock um, down, you know, as far as I wanted it to. And then I just used some uh, fabric fill, fabric fill? No, fabric fill. Anyway, it's like stuffing that, you know, you can uh, get it in the craft section. Um, like in the quilting section or craft section, whatever. And uh, that's what I use to kind of puff up this heart. I mean, puff up this sock and just give it, uh, you know, some form and everything. And so I spent way too much time on this sock gnome. And so um, that's kind of like part of my frustration. I'm like, I should have just, you know, ripped it off and just went to something else. But I was too far into this project. And I was like, I am determined to make this work. So I'll continue to just kind of uh, gather the sock and I'm trying to uh, cover up that where the heel of the sock is. And so I bend that down. Now for the nose, what I did, um, I used a one and a half inch split ball. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby. Uh, and then now what I'm doing is not even realizing, hey girl, you ain't got no flesh color on here. Uh, but I just go ahead and, and put my curl color cheeks with which, you know, you don't even see anyway, because it's all covered up by the beard. And uh, that coral color was a little bit too bright on the nose. So I just took my milk chocolate paint and just uh, dabbed on, you know, just to give it a bit of rusticness. Um, now here is to the third dilemma. Um, I was going to use my uh, fawn colored fur to make this a cute gnome. And so I, you know, ended up measuring it using my box blade to cut the back, which is like the felt because I want the bottom to be wispy and, you know, just cut through the back and not the fur because because then your fur is choppy if you cut it, um, you know, with scissors or 
uh, you know, cut it something like that. Anyway, so then once I like started doing this, I'm like, no, because the sock looks too white. So then I pull out my white fur and I end up doing the same thing, measure it, you know, notch out the nose and all that stuff. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, that's too much white. And so I'm like, okay, well then we're going to go. What can I do? I did not have any like orange gnome or golden gnome. I should have just left it with the first, the fawn color. I should have just left that, but no, I had to go to the white. And so anyway, what I decided to do and I actually like it, um, I, you, I pulled out my glimmering mist, uh, by tattered angels. It's a, um, you know, coloring mist that I've had on hand for many years. I ordered it off of Amazon. I did look, but it's like currently not available, but I did find some, um, yellow color at Hobby Lobby. Um, and maybe Joanne's or Michael's has it too, but I always find this stuff in the scrapbooking section. And, uh, I, I had it on hand because I used it when I was doing some mixed media things. Anyway, so what I did is, um, I just, you know, spritzed, um, the yellow color or the gold color, uh, just on the fur until I got the look of the tint that I like. And I love the way that it turned out, but yeah, I had so much problems with this little gnome and, but the end result I do like. Since I already had my sock and nose and all that stuff on, I ended up putting some painter's tape on there and then, you know, just covering it with a paper towel so that I wouldn't get any of the gold color on there as well. And so it took me several spritzes and I just dried in between with my heat tool. I had to kind of fluff up the fur because, you know, it's white underneath there. And so then I just continued to do that and made sure that my... Uh, table was covered with uh, just that brown paper and uh, yeah I just kept spraying until I got the look that I like and I do actually like the end result so then I just took off the um, you know painters tape and then I moved on to the next step of making the bow now actually what I did is I made the mustache I made a mustache and uh, so I'm using this yarn now I've had this yarn for fur in my craft stash for uh, several years and so I'm just kind of showing you that there and uh, um, yeah it's really it's kind of weird and so uh, I probably would not use this again but um, I wanted a mustache and this is what I had on hand so I just used that and so I just folded it over a couple of times and then just cut off a piece and was trying to tie it with that but that didn't work so I ended up pulling out a white pipe cleaner just to tie it off in the middle and then where the loops were I just cut those off and uh also did the same thing with tinting the mustache with that tattered angels gold glimmering mist spray and uh, that is what I use for his mustache so I'm using this ribbon it's a one and a half inch green and white gingham ribbon or check ribbon and it has like a black um, edging and I think I got that at craft outlet and so what I'm doing is just uh just bending over a, a, a just a little bit of that just we're using my hot glue and then I'm going to wrap it around him uh like for the brim of the hat um having it um I want it to I wanted it to be you know thinner like that so that's why I glued that part like that and then I'm going to make a bow with this same ribbon and uh, but first I have this Rick Rack that I've had on hand for many years I got it after Christmas one year at Hobby Lobby um, you know I love Rick Rack and so you know it's funny that's why I'm a craft hoarder because you know I've had this for several years and never used the green and then here this year I'm using it on my little shamrock gnome and uh, so what I did is um, for like at the f or toe of the sock, I like to add just a little bow or like jingle bells or uh, just something cute like that. But for this gnome, I'm just tying it uh, while well, I gathered it with just 
so uh, just a rubber band I get these plastic rubber bands from the Dollar Tree in the hair accessories section I have those in my craft room to use for little projects like this and then I just cut off some of that green rickrack and just tie it there um, I'm gonna go back later and untie it and add the tag but that's how this looks right now so then I'm going to start making the bow and I use that uh, same gingham or check ribbon and I I cut off some of uh, different things, uh, just some shimmery white. I have some pom-pom ribbon. I have some of that rickrack. I have some muslin fabric. I also have some lace. And so I just um, am making a messy bow here and just, you know, stacking everything together and, and kind of arranging it the way that I like it. For the cute tag to add to his hat, I'm just taking these, I have these like sales um, tags that I've had on hand and I tea stained many of them uh, several years ago. I will try to look for the blog post that I always use or that I've used and that I reference of how to tea stain tags. And so uh, look for that in the description box below. So I'm just writing just hand lettering not lucky but blessed and just doing my happy dots I love it so much and then I'll just doodle around the edges and uh you know just with my ultra fine sharpie marker and my fine sharpie marker then I will bend um and give uh, the tag just some, you know, distressing using uh, my vintage photo ink, just going around it. Then to add the tag to the toe of my sock, what I'm using is some green and white twine that I've also had in my stash. And uh, I just um, untwist that uh, rickrack on the toe of the sock because then I'm going to tie the uh, twine there and a uh, tie on my tag and so to you know the twine does fray a bit and so I just put a small knot in the end of a tw of that twine so that it doesn't fray anymore once it's on my gnome. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here now this next part is the additional dilemma that I had because I, I initially made this gnome to stand up and be a shelf sitter and not put anything extra to it well um, I didn't get my blocks straight so it wouldn't stand up correctly and I didn't want to use jingle blocks and all that stuff so um, what I'm doing is making a little arrangement uh, for it and you know just going all out on this little gnome so I have this small crate that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and just to give it some color I'm just using my antique wax and a baby wipe and I just you know just wipe that on and that is my favorite way to to add some stain to wood items now on the inside of it I didn't um, you know stain it all the way because you're not gonna see that and uh, I didn't want to waste the antique wax so I just you know went so far down in it and I had the styrofoam that I got from the Dollar Tree and so I'm just cutting it down because that is going to be what I'm going to stick my um, my flowers and stuff into and uh, so I just glued that down so here I'm showing I am um, you know once I figured out that I'm gonna glue my gnome to the front I'm like oh girl you're gonna have to put some weight in there because the gnome might like tip it over you know and so I just had these green gems uh, or you know little rocks in my craft room my craft stash and so I just put those in there I'm not gluing them yet because I want to make sure and put my flowers in there and then um, you know with the gems and uh, the rocks and then the 
uh, Excelsior. I like to use this fine Excelsior in my country projects. It gives a little whimsical look and it just kind of covers up everything. And then I'll go back later and glue anything that may not be, you know, uh, that may like fall out and that kind of thing. So here what I'm doing is I just added some E6000 and some hot glue and that is what I glued uh, the gnome to the front of the uh, little crate because that is going to be, um, he's going to be in front of the crate. That's just how I designed this little arrangement. And so what I'm showing you here is I had some of the glittery shamrocks. And what I did is I used my pine colored uh, paint, acrylic paint, and I just painted over them just to take off some of that shimmer glitter and just kind of country them a bit. And I really like that look. Here are the florals I'm gonna use in this project. I have some pit berries that are from Hobby Lobby. I have some uh, carnation flowers as well as the shamrock greenery that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, I just started off by just putting in some of those pit berries into the um, crate, just sticking them in the styrofoam. The pit, these pit berries are like um, very straight. They're like, they don't bend. And uh, so I just kind of went with it and I just cut my shamrock greenery apart. I, you know, just using my stem cutter. Um, also, I cut the carnations apart. I also put on uh, a steel pick, which I use, uh, you know, my steel picks machine. It's just something that I have for my florals that I stick, you know, my greenery and uh, florals inside my styrofoam. I also use some of these berries um, that came off of a strand from Hobby Lobby. The beauty is in the details for me and so I need to add some extra things to my arrangement. I have these barbecue sticks that I got from um, I think a grocery store a few years ago. They're flat and I like to use them in little arrangements like this and so I have these shamrock stickers that I also got from um, Hobby Lobby and uh, what I'm wrapping the stick with is just washi tape that I had on hand and I just wrapped it uh, you know around the stick because I didn't want to paint it and uh, so that's a great way to you know kind of add some color or some different design to different things and so I just glued uh, the shamrock I actually used uh, one on the front and then one on the back since you know you can see the shamrock from I mean the uh uh, arrangement from the back and uh, then I just tied a jute bow I just got those that jute from the Dollar Tree just tied a simple bow and uh, just hot glued it in place if I needed to and then I just stuck those in the arrangement and it just adds some you know depth and dimension and just some character and cuteness to the uh, whole you know the whole arrangement so here he is so far and yes it's a he because I have a beard on him but I also put a cute bow on there on him and uh, you know just Tracy fied him by just adding all the little extra things uh, now yeah when I was looking at that I was like yeah I need a little bit more white in there and uh, so I have this a baby's breath from the Dollar Tree and just added sprigs of that uh, baby's breath to the arrangement and then also I just go extra again and just add some ribbon loops and what I'm doing is I have some of those uh, barbecue sticks that I wrapped with the washi tape and then I have this ribbon I just cut off you know just how much I need it to and I'm gonna dovetail the edges so that the uh, tails will look nicely and finished and then I just wrap um, them in between I put the stick in between the ribbon and then gather it in the middle and then I um, secure it with a pipe cleaner and then I go back over it and put some jute and make a bow out of that and so I put four of these ribbon tail things in it it just kind of adds just more character and cuteness and just kind of um, it adds as a filler to any arrangement Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. Put your favorite song on.